Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the types of the foundation. This is a very important lecture in the geotechnical and foundation engineering that how we can categorize the different types of the foundation. So generally speaking, we have two main types of the foundation. That is the shallow foundation. And the, and the deep foundation. So its name shows that the deep foundation is a type of foundation where we have a more depth is compared to the width of the foundation. Where shallow shows, shallow means that the foundation is at a shallow surface. The depth of the foundation is lower than the width of the foundation. So in case of the shallow foundation, uh, they are always provided when there is a lower load or we can see the smaller load are acting on the structure so we uh, provide the shallow foundation when there is a high load acting on the uh, structure members so we have to provide the deep foundation in order to take this load so deep foundation are mostly provided in bridges uh, or flyovers where there is a more load acting on the structure while shallow foundation are mostly provided in residential buildings where maybe four to five story building or to ten story buildings we provide the shallow foundations so the shallow foundation are provided for the lower loads when there is a lower load acting on the structure and when there is a higher load acting on the structure so we have to provide the deep foundations and the another definition is when the uh, to categorize these two type of foundation when the depth of the foundation D, the depth of foundation is lower than the width of foundation. Such a foundation is known as the shallow foundation. And when the depth of the foundation is greater than the width of the foundation, such a foundation is known as the deep foundation. Now to further categorize these two types of the foundation, this one is the shallow, this one is the deep. So the shallow foundation can be further categorized into four main types of the footings. So the, this one is the first type of the shallow foundation is the spread footing or we can see the wall or the isolated footing spread or isolated footing so it is a type of the shallow foundation and this type of the footing is provided only to the single column for example and this is a column a reinforced concrete column and the footing provided to this column is known as the spread or the isolated footing so this type of the footing is provided only to the single column to resist or to take the load of a single column this type of footing is known as the spread or the isolated footing the second type of the shallow foundation is the strip footing or also known as the wall footing where if i consider this is a wall for example this is a concrete wall or simple the Masonry wall and the footing provided beneath this wall is known as the strip footing or wall footing. So this footing will be known as the this footing is known as the strip or wall footing. While this is the wall or strip, so we provide the foundation to the wall or strip, and this is known as the strip or wall footing because it is provided beneath the wall. That's why it's known as the strip or the wall footing. The third type of the foundation. Um, a shallow foundation is the combined footing combined footing now in this case uh, if I consider these are the two columns to reinforce co concrete columns for example so uh, to combine to provide the foundation for these two columns sometimes we don't provide the uh, individual foundation for these two like the isolated or the spread footing so we provide the footing together for these two columns and this footing will be known as the combined footing because the foundation is, is being provided to both these columns together and this footing will be now known as the spread or the, com uh, sorry, the combined footing. The fourth type of the footing um, here in this case, if I remove this to have more space, so the fourth uh, type of the shallow foundation is the mate or the raft footing 
where in this case uh, this type of the foundation takes the more load as compared to the combined footing strip footing and spread footing so this type of the footing is provided to more than five or four columns maybe for example if i consider these are the different columns in our structure different columns so we provide here these are again the different reinforced concrete columns maybe circular square or rectangular depending on the uh, designer so we provide the foundation for all of these columns with the uh, it, it's like a slab provided in the foundation so such type of the slab have reinforcement in both the direction and this type of the footing will be called as the mat or the rough footing mat because it's a type of the slab provided uh, beneath the columns to take the load of the structure and this type of the footing is provided when there is a more load acting on the structure uh, so we have to provide the mat or the rough footing so these were the four uh, different types of the uh, shallow foundation. Now we are coming to the uh, deep foundation where a deep foundation also has some uh, further some types which, which will be discussed here in this case. So if I consider here the first type of the deep foundation is known as the in bearing pile. In bearing piles foundation the second type of the deep foundation is the friction piles and the third type of the foundation is known as the friction come bearing pile friction come bearing pile so these are the three different types of the deep foundation now if I want to explain this um, in short Mm, description so it will be like this the in bearing piles are the type of the foundation type of the deep foundation for example and this is the surface this is the earth surface and these are the piles provided beneath the earth surface and there is a hard strata beneath the foundation so the whole load is taken by this hard rock so we say that this type of the piles are known in the in bearing piles because there is a hard rock provided beneath the piles so they can take the whole load and it's been transferred from the piles to the this hard rock so this is known as the in bearing piles now the friction piles is if i consider again this is the surface and the piles is provided beneath the surface so in this case the uh, strata rock here is very low this rock is very soft and cannot take the load so what we say that here the whole load is taken by this friction between the pile and the soil so this will be known as the friction piles where the whole load is resisted by the friction between the piles and the soil here so this is known as the friction pile and the third one is the friction come bearing pile in this case it is a combination of both for example if this is a pile so the half resistance is provided by this in bearing from the hard rock and half resistance is provided between the friction between the soil and between the pile so these are the three different types of the deep foundation so hope you guys understand the main types of the foundation which are two the shallow foundation and the deep foundation and further there are different types of each of these foundation hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video